Good morning, my dear friends, and lovely to welcome so many of you to our celebration of Palm Sunday, the first day of our celebrations for Holy Week. And this morning we have lit our simple candle, and I'd like to invite you to light yours as well, so that we form a circle of light around this beautiful world, the Cathedral of God. And we dedicate our morning prayers this morning for each one of you, for the brothers and sisters past and present of our community, and for our members, some of our members who are unwell, whose names we will mention during intercessions, but for the whole Franciscan community within the Christian Church and for all Christians celebrating this beautiful day, the Feast of Palm Sunday. So now we begin. O God, come to my aid, O Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was, <coughs> excuse me, in the beginning, <clears throat> is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And we have a special hymn, and it's from the Stanbrook Abbey hymnal. Let me turn this down just slightly. There we go. O cross of Christ, immortal tree, on which our Saviour died, the world is sheltered by your arms that bore the crucified. From bitter death and barren wood, the tree of life is made. Its branches bear unfailing fruit and leaves that never fade. O fateful cross, you stand unmoved while ages run their course. Foundation of the universe, creation's binding force. Give glory to the risen Christ and to his cross give praise the sign of God's unfathomed love, the hope of all our days. <clears throat> and our first antiphon for this Palm Sunday reads, the crowds of people who had gathered for the fest feast day called out to the Lord, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. And our first reading is Psalm 117 from the Old Testament Bible. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Let the sons of Israel say, his love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his love endures forever. I called to the Lord in my distress. He answered and he freed me. The Lord is at my side, I do not fear. What can man do against me? The Lord is at my side as my helper. I shall look down on my foes. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in men. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. The nations all encompassed me. In the Lord's name I crushed them. They compassed me, compassed me about. In the Lord's name I crushed them. They compassed me about like bees. They blazed like a fire among thorns. In the Lord's name, I crushed them. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord came to help me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He is my savior. There are shouts of joy and victory in the tents of the just. And the Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand raised me. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. I shall not die, I shall live and recount his deeds. I was punished, I was punished by the Lord, but not doomed to die. Open to me the gates of holiness, I will enter and give thanks. This is the Lord's own gate where the just may enter. I will thank you for you have answered and you are my saviour. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. 
This work of the Lord is a marvel in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and we are glad. O Lord, grant us salvation. O Lord, grant us success. Blessed in the name of the Lord is he who comes. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord God is our light. Go forward in procession with branches, even to the altar. You are my God, and I thank you. My God, and I praise you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Let us now pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. The crowds of people who had gathered for the feast day called out to the Lord. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And the second antiphon, may we be counted among the faithful with the angels and with the children. Triumphant over death, we sing with them. Hosanna in the highest. And now we have a canticle reading from the prophet Daniel. You are blessed, Lord God of our fathers, to you glory and praise forevermore. Bless your glorious holy name, to you glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed in the temple of, the glo of your glory, to you glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed to gaze into the depths, to you glory and praise forevermore. You who walk on the wings of the wind, to you glory and praise forevermore. May they bless you, the saints and the angels, to you glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed, Lord God of our fathers, to you glory and praise forevermore. And now we pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And, and now for the Antiphon. May we be counted among the faithful with the angels and with the children. Triumphant over death, we sing with them, Hosanna in the highest. And the third Antiphon. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven, glory in the highest heavens. And now we read Psalm 150. Praise God in his holy place. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his powerful deeds. Praise his surpassing greatness. Oh, praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipes. O oh, praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with the clashing of cymbals. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. We pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heavens. And now for this Palm Sunday we have a special reading from the prophet Zechariah, chapter 9, verse 9. Rejoice, rejoice, daughter of Zion. Shout aloud, daughter of Jerusalem. For see, your king is coming to you, his cause won, his victory gained. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the short response three, you have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood. You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood. From every tribe and tongue and people and nation, you have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, 
to the Holy Spirit of God. You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood. And the Benedictus Antiphon. With waving palm branches, let us adore the Lord as he comes. Let us go to meet him with hymns and songs, rejoicing and singing, Blessed be the Lord. And now <clears throat> I would like to invite you to join me from for our Benedictus, the Canticle of Ze Zechariah. But just excuse me for a moment. It's thirsty work, isn't it, brain? So now for the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and he has redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour in the house of David, his servant, as he promised through his prophets from of old. A saviour who would free us from our sin, from the hands of all our enemies. So his love for our fathers is revealed and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham, our father, to grant us that free from fear and saved from the hands of our enemies, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. And as for you, little child, you shall become a prophet of God, the Most High. You shall go before the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of their sin and the loving kindness of the heart of our God who visits us like the dawn from on high and he will give light to those who sit in darkness and those who dwell in the shadow of death. He will guide them to the way of peace. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And we repeat the Benedictus Antiphon. With waving palm branches, let us adore the Lord as he comes. Let us go to meet him with hymns and songs, rejoicing and singing, blessed be the Lord. And now we come to an important part of morning prayer, and that's our intercessions. Let us adore Christ the Lord. When he entered Jerusalem, the crowds proclaimed to him, Messiah and King. Response, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna to you, the son of David, the King of ages. Hosanna to you in your triumph over death and hell. Response, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You went up to Jerusalem to endure the passion and enter into glory. Lead your church with all faiths into the paschal feast of eternal life. Response, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You made your cross the tree of life. Share your victory with all the baptized. Response, excuse me, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You came to save sinners, bring into your kingdom all who believe, hope and love. Response, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And this week from the 10th of April, we enter the Jewish festival of Passover or Pesach. So we pray for our Jewish brothers and sisters around the world and wish them a blessed Passover. So now, for a moment in silence, my heart is guided by Christ to invite you now to be still. And if anything is troubling you today, if you're worried or concerned about your health, your life, your traumas or members of your family, or friends, or the state of the world, name it, bless it, it's yours, and now give it immediately to God in a mindset of gratitude and say thank you God for taking this off me and take a deep breath and know that God has relieved you of that worry or concern. 
So just be with the Christ who asks you to join him as he enters Jerusalem. But you know and I know that he was beginning his journey to death for our freedom. And this morning we bring our many requests Maybe too many to mention, but we will mention a few. We remember our dear sister Pam in California, who emailed me early this morning to say that she's been struggling with tendonitis and is also being investigated for pre-melanoma. So we send our dear sister Pam lots of love. For our dear sister Diane in Lee in Lancashire and her amazing nine-year-old grandson Tyler, whom I'm dying to meet such a brave young man who was born without an esophagus and had many surgeries to try and insert a piece of bowel. And this week he's got other ops planned, but we pray for his consultant, Dr. Jones, who truly is an angel of love and light, who gives up his own time, even his, his sabbaticals and holidays to be there for those little children who need him. We pray for our dear sister Corazon de los Santos in Winnipeg, a beautiful soul who has known and tasted suffering with the loss of her three brothers and her mom through gunshot wounds. But we pray for, for dear Corazon that she will be able to name, bless and release all that weighs heavy upon her and just give it to the Lord. And we pray for her son Daniel and her brother Faustian. We pray for our dear sister Caroline Burt on Twitter, who lives on the Isle of Wight, another amazing lady who has a great faith in the Mother of God and who has been through it herself. So we give thanks to God for Caroline. And we pray also for dear sister Laura and her friend Sam, who had a huge growth removed from his neck last Monday. We pray for Janet Fellows, a friend, a colleague, going back 12 years now, a beautiful light worker who's having various tests and she's asked us to pray for her, for our sister Jane in Ormsker and for our dear brother Brian, sorry, our brother Ron, whose father's poorly in Liverpool. And we remember our sister Jane in Coventry, who's been battling quite a debilitating illness to do with energy, a loss of energy caused by a syndrome of sorts to her adrenal cortex above her kidney. We pray today for Sister Jackie and her mom in the USA, for Sister Buffy, for Sister Miriam in New Zealand, again another beautiful light worker, and one who's given her life to God as a hermit and is truly a Franciscan at heart with her menagerie, her rabbits and her beautiful cat Mollykins. We send our dear sister much love. We pray for Brother Matthew and his family in Texas, for Brother Brian, our amazing Franciscan trucker, and his work with the homeless. And of course, for Brother Liam, who works the night shift at the shelter in London with the homeless. We remember Brother Paul, the founder of the, of the Franciscan Hermits, with Brother Bjorn, who founded the Servants of Peace Monastery in America. We pray for all the brothers and sisters of our community, including Sister Sue, who took time out. We send love and light to the many who've come and gone. We send a special love to, to Richard in France and pray that his um, partner has given birth successfully with no complications. We pray today for the many, many, many children of God who have no one to pray for them. And we pray for the awful war crime that was committed against the Syrian children and people this week between President Assad of Syria and the Russians who sanctioned chemical warfare to be used, which left 70 children dead. But this is the fifth or sixth time this has happened. And we pray that they will be brought to justice for these heinous crimes against children of God. But we pray for all religions, because within each religious family, there's always friction. Within the Christian family of 1,000, 
824 denominations. Not everybody gets on with everybody. There's so much antipathy, negativity, and judgmental attitudes, especially towards those who are non-Christian. Thank God that Jesus and Francis asked us to step out of our comfort zone as Catholic Christians and to embrace all children of God, all faiths, and to welcome them who are living a spiritual life in service to the God of many names, to join our community where we do not do dogma, religion, guilt or fear. In fact, we welcome those whom God brings to us and we learn so much from our brothers and sisters of different beliefs. So we celebrate the Teo community today and the Frank Clara Abbey of Peace and Compassion that's in the ethers. We pray for all our religious leaders, for all our statespersons, politicians, presidents, prime ministers. We remember our Ma Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, head of the Church of England with His Holiness the Dalai Lama, and of course, our dear Holy Father, Pope Francis. For all the men and women within holy orders, be they a rabbi, an imam, a priest, a vicar, a nun, a monk, or a holy man or woman, who may be struggling today in their vocation, we send them our love, as we send you our love. And now we bring, we bring our hearts into the presence of Christ, who demonstrated for you and me the meaning of selfless love. He died on a cross that you and I could be free. And though he did it for every child of God who were born, who are to be born, only a few bother to return and surrender their hearts to a loving God. Many give lip service in their religious families, but many of their hearts are still closed, even in the monastic life. So I pray today that your heart will be opened and that you will be able to sing the praises of God and sing Hosanna to the Christ on this beautiful feast of Palm Sunday. Let us be still now and prepare ourselves to say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Mother God, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give to each one of us here and beyond today our daily bread. Lord, forgive us for the times we've wronged you, when we've insulted you, when we've betrayed you by walking away, for the times when we have ran as fast as our feet could take us rather than listen to you in the silence of our hearts, for the times when we've procrastinated and alienated our heart from your love, and for the times when we failed in Christian charity, in thought, word or deed, and for the many times we as Christians stand judged by you for judging your children who do not share our belief. Father, Mother, God, forgive us. Lead us not astray, but protect us from the forces of evil, negativity and despair. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And now for our closing prayer, for Palm Sunday. Almighty, ever-living Father, Mother God, you gave our Saviour the command to become man and undergo the cross as an example of humility for all men and women of all faiths to follow. We have the lessons of his suffering. Give us also the fellowship of his resurrection. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus the Christ, who lives and who reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, a God of many names, now and forever. Amen. 
And that, dear friends, brings us to the end of the Office of Lords on this beautiful Palm Sunday. And now for the Celtic blessing, the blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky on those we love this day and on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother sun and sister moon, and the gifts of the animal kingdom be in your heart now and forevermore. Amen. And as I come to blow out this flame, symbolizing the presence of Christ, we thank the Lord Christ for honoring his promise to us that when we call on him for support, he will help us. I thank Jesus for touching each one of you here and those who will watch this recording at another time. And in the words of St. Francis of Assisi, may God truly reward you and bless you. Amen. So go in peace to love and to serve our God. Namaste, shalom, inshallah, pax et bonum, om shanti, solo di caritas, salam alaikum, and may the peace of all peace, may the King of peace, may the Messiah, the King of kings, who endured death for our freedom, reign supreme in your beautiful hearts, this day and in the coming of Holy Week. Amen. Peace.